This is the only AI tool you will ever need and this can possibly save hours of your time. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be looking at this new and exciting AI tool called Prome AI which has tons of features that can make our workflow so much more efficient. I've been using this AI for the past few weeks and I've come up with 12 ways in which you can use this AI tool and I've mentioned them right here. And the best thing about this is that you can try out all of these features for free using the basic version. So in this video, let's explore each of these features together. I'm Salman, an architect and an illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. To begin with, you'll need to access the Prome AI website and the link to it is provided in the description. So the link will take you to the Prome AI website. So to access the website, you will have to log in or sign up from the button on top. This will open a pop-up box and here you can sign up or use your Google account to log in. Once you log in, this is what your home page will look like. On the left side, you have your home, explore and my home page. Below that, you have a product category which specifies all the products that are available in Prome AI. On the top right, there's a number displayed and this specifies the number of image generations that you can do per month. For a free account, you have 200 image generations which is pretty sufficient to get started with. With that being said, let's start looking at the 12 ways in which we can use this platform. Number 1. You can turn your sketches into realistic renderings. Now there are many AI tools which offer this feature but how Chrome AI stands apart is its ease of use and accessibility. To create a realistic rendering of a hand-drawn sketch, we will have to choose the sketch rendering. Once you do that, you will be able to upload your sketch from the local drive or choose one from the assets below. We have chosen our sketch and right below is a tab which is used to configure the kind of output that we want from our rendering. Let's click the first option on the tab and this opens a wide range of categories on the left side and below is the tab for architecture. Let's click that and inside is a subcategory of architectural design. There's multiple architectural styles to choose from and each of these styles act as a preset for our rendering. These are neatly categorized based on the type of style from modern, masterpiece, nordic and the list goes on. For this specific rendering, let's go into masterpiece and choose Indian modernism. The next option is render mode. The selection from this category affects how much of creativity you want AI to implement in your rendering and how much of originality from your base drawing you want to retain. There are different categories like precise, outlines, soft edges and the selection of each one affects your rendering. For now, let's go with precise. The next option on the tab is where you type in with the positive prompt and the negative prompt. Let's leave it empty for now and see what the Pro AI comes up with. Hit generate and your rendering will start. It takes close to 30 to 40 seconds in real time to generate your rendering which is a pretty quick turnaround time. We have our results and these are quite impressive. On the first look, it reminds me of the designs of Lee Corbusier who is one of the most prominent modernist architect in India. The AI has done a great job in interpreting the sketch and also the image quality and environment are on point. Overall, I think the results are pretty impressive. We can try the same with an urban sketch by selecting the urban planning option in the same category and this produces some really good interpretation of the materials, forms and textures as well. The same feature works for interior design sketches also and for this we'll have to go into the interior design category and select kitchen. There are multiple different styles here just like how we saw previously. Let's select German Classical and hit Generate. And this interpretation turned out to be of really good quality. Number 2. You can turn your 3D model into realistic renderings. No plugins needed, no additional downloads to be done. You can render your sketches directly in your Pro AI. Here's a SketchUp model of a villa in classical style of architecture. And let's export this as an image to render it in Pro AI. And inside Pro AI, we'll have to go into the same sketch rendering product and upload the SketchUp image. For the rendering style, let's go into architecture and architectural design. And luckily, we do have a classical style of presets. So let's maybe choose American Neoclassical. Let's leave the render mode as precise and let's hit generate. And wow, the results are pretty stunning. As you can see, we did not export shadows from SketchUp and it was only a plain 2D image. But the rendering that Prome AI has produced has a certain depth in it and also the image quality is excellent. It has not changed any of the elements in the existing image and it has only made a few additions like this landscape on the balcony right here. Think about the amount of time that this can save in the rendering process. It works well with the classical style but what about something that's more modern and contemporary? 
For this, let's export this office building right here from SketchUp. So I've opened this image in Chrome AI and I've set the preset as sustainable innovation. Let's hit generate and see what it does. We have the results and it's not bad at all. The reflections of the glass facade is pretty good and the overall image quality of this is well done. Number three, render your 2D floor plans. You can very precisely render your floor plans and this feature is really powerful. To render our floor plans, we will again have to go into the sketch rendering and let's choose this image which looks like a hand-drawn pencil sketch and has a bit of depth as well. Under the interior design category, there's a floor plan option and inside this subcategory, we have different styles to choose from. We have industrial, Japanese, modern dark and many more options. Let's choose a modern dark and let's leave the render mode at precise and hit generate. Now these results are definitely going to make you look twice because we know how long and tiring process it is to render our flow plans with textures. But with Chrome AI, you can generate textures to your flow plan in just a few seconds. You can even use this as inspiration to render flow plans on your own and try out different styles to see which works the best for you. Now what if we try the same process on a simple flow plan with just line drawings? I've uploaded this flow plan and let's see what it does. I'm choosing a southwestern style and the render mode is outline and let's hit generate. The AI does a great job in separating the flow plan and also creating a depth of its own. Within the flow plan, it has done a great job with the furnitures and textures. Number four, you can render your section drawings. Now just like the flow plans, you can also render your sections and turn them into high quality renderings. To render our sections, we will again have to go into the sketch rendering and also note that there is no specific option which says section rendering but there's still a way to do it. Just like how we render our flow plans, let's upload the image of section which is the line drawing and within interior design, let's choose flow plan and select the style that we want and let's hit generate. What is amazing here is that the AI is able to understand that this is a section drawing and it's able to create an output accordingly. It is able to identify the cars, human figures and the trees in the section drawing. Since we are chosen precise, we are getting multiple options of this section but this image right here has preserved the exact details of the section. Number 5, you can render your landscape plans and views. This feature offers so many different styles to choose from. To render our landscape plan, we will have to once again go into sketch rendering and upload our image. Now inside the settings, we have a specific tab called landscape and under this we have landscape design and garden. Let's go into landscape design and here we have the landscape plan subcategory. We have multiple styles of renderings here like watercolors, color pencils, markers, realistic and so on. Let's choose the realistic style for this and leave the render mode at precise and hit generate. As you can see, Prom AI has seamlessly interpreted the landscape plan that we provided. There are few variations with the central part which could be a building or a water body. So we have three options for that as well. But looking at the quality of the trees that has generated, I would definitely say that this is top notch. Now under the same category, you have an option called landscape space types. Using this tool, we can generate images of basic sketches which are more into landscape design. Let's try this with a waterfront landscape and choose the same image that we did previously. We can see how AI has reinterpreted the same basic sketch incorporating landscape elements as well as water bodies in this. And this specific style has generated a vibrant and colorful image. This tool can be of great use to not just architects but as well as landscape designers. Number 6, you can blend two images together. Now this is one of the coolest features of this platform and the results are really stunning. We'll have to choose the creative fusion option which is the second one on the product on the left side. So how this works is, we'll have to upload our image which displays on the left side and on the right side we have different styles of images which is used for the rendering to create the fusion. We have different categories, so these four categories are specific for architectural design. Let's go into landscape architecture and choose this image right here. Let's leave the render mode at precise and hit generate. That's some stunning results we have. AI has taken the characteristics of the style image and fused it with the basic sketch that we provided. It has taken the lighting, ambience and mood of the image and fuse this seamlessly with the basic sketch. This is by far one of the most impressive features that I found about Chrome AI. Number 7. Turn your photos into sketches. The third option on the product category is photo to sketch and this tool can turn your photos into hand-drawn sketches. I've uploaded a photograph of a cathedral and inside the tab we have design sketch category 
The next one is the art sketch category, which has all kinds of artistic styles, right from conceptual, traditional, and so on. Let's choose hand drawn line art from design sketch, leave the render mode at precise, and hit generate. Me, as an architectural illustrator and someone who's into pen and ink sketches, I can say that these sketches are pretty amazing. The quality of lines, hatches, and shading are close to professional quality. Here's a previously generated image of the same cathedral in a different view, and the depth in these sketches is pretty amazing. Number 8 Erase and Replace Elements. Now, this one is pretty similar to the Photoshop Generative Fill tool, and this offers the same level of flexibility. The Erase and Replace tool is the fourth one on the left side, and when you upload an image here, it goes through an analysis and each element in the image is separately selectable. You can also use this manual selection tool to brush over the areas you want to select. Now we've selected the pictures inside the frame. Now let's turn those pictures into architectural sketches. We'll have to go to this tab right here. Let's type sketches of famous architecture and hit generate. As you can see, this has seamlessly turned the pictures into architectural sketches using AI. This can be useful when you want to change specific parts or elements of your architectural design or renderings. This feature can also be used in a larger sense. I've uploaded an image of a sofa in an interior space. Let's make a selection of the sofa using auto select. Let's type the replacement of this, click generate and you can see that the sofa has been turned into what we wanted. So you can use this to change furnitures or larger elements in your design as well. Number 9. Create multiple design variations from a single image and it works seamlessly with architectural images. Let's start with the image variation option and upload a photograph of an elevation view. We have a slider below called variation and you can increase or decrease that to control the amount of variation you want in your image. Now if we move the slider further and keep a large number of variation, you can see that this takes up the basic geometry and creates completely different variations of the same design. It even changes the perspective view of the photograph completely. Now let's reduce the slider a little bit. The images that are generated now have lesser variations and it gives us different options in terms of materials and various elements in the design. As architects, we would definitely understand how important this tool will be in our design process. Let's try the same thing for an interior view of a bedroom. Now this creates variations in terms of the ceiling design, the furniture placement, the windows and the bookshelf as well. And not just that, I even tried the same on an illustration and this generated multiple abstract options of the same design. Number 10. Replace Backgrounds You can use this tool to select a certain element in your image and use AI to completely change the background. Choose the background diffusion option and upload your image. Once you upload it, you will be able to auto select or manually select specific parts of the image. Let's make a selection of this bed. Once we are done, using the tab below, we can choose interior design and choose bedroom. Again inside this, there are multiple styles and options to choose from. Let's choose an Asian modern style in this. You could change the scale of the image if you want and hit generate. So this feature retains the bed and generates the background in the specific style that we selected. This can be really helpful if you have a particular product and you want to see it in a specific background. Number 11. Extend your image boundaries. Using this tool, you can extend the boundaries of your image and make it into any format you want. Click on the Outpainting tool and upload your image and you will see white backgrounds around it. You can change the resolution of the image from the scale option below. Let's keep it as 4 is to 3 for this image and hit generate. This tool extends the boundaries of the image and uses AI to fill up the boundaries. This can be useful when you want to share your renderings or drawings on social media but you are restricted to a certain format. Number 12. You can edit your architectural photographs. Choose the relight option and upload your image. And inside this, you have the ambient tab which can be used to change the exposure and highlights of the image. There are three other light settings in specific colors and you can change the configuration of each of these lights. You can adjust these settings to create a nice effect to your photograph. You can even add more lights to your image and change the configuration. Once you're done, you can hit download to save your image. So apart from what we just saw now, there are other features such as text generation and AI image generation as well. As for the subscription, now is a great time to choose one. 
since there's a flash sale going on for membership. The base subscription starts at $19 a month and I think this is a great deal. You get unlimited relaxed generations, 300 fast generations and unlimited access to all the listed tools. There are other standard and pro versions and they also offer a discount on the early subscriptions. So that was it from the practical applications of Chrome AI. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button. Share this with your fellow students and architects and let them know about this amazing AI tool. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.